Are you ready to go five pounds down? Well, today we are torching calories with low impact cardio. No equipment needed, so let's go. All right, beautiful bees, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. And that means that we're gonna get started with some arm circles with high knees. You guys, welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, we are all about making peace with your menopausal body by finding a healthy weight and moving in ways that feel like self-love. And you guys, you know what feels like self-love? Losing the weight with the 5-0 method, where every single day, we do five things that make you say, oh, I had no idea it could be that simple to lose weight at our age. You guys, every Every single day, we're gonna eat the right amount of calories, which is not necessarily less than you were eating before. Every single day, we're gonna drink the right amount of water, which is half your body weight in pounds in fluid ounces of water. Every single day, we're gonna get the right amount of sleep by going to bed at the same time every night, getting up at the same time every morning, and not worrying about how much in between that was actual sleep, because sometimes it's not. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. Every single day, we're going to exercise moderately with a beautiful workout like this one, but not necessarily really this one every single day and every single day we're going to manage our minds by finding our thoughts and deciding if they're helpful I just realized I forgot to tell you <laughs> that the exercising moderately is not necessarily more than you were doing before I heard Blossom walking out here with her little clicky toes hi sweetheart you want to come up in the chair I'm just about to do welcome to Blossom's home good girl let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes welcome to Blossom's home my sweetheart I didn't think she was going to join our shenanigans today but apparently she heard me talking she's like Oh, is it time to exercise? She loves to come out and see my lady friends. You guys, oh my gosh, we have so much fun today. I have, well, first of all, I have a helpful thought for you. Oh my gosh, I'm so far off my game. Y'all, here we go. <laughs> Here's today's helpful thought. I'm good at math. <laughs> and I have a lot to say about that. And I'm gonna explain all about it like after I tell you what we're doing. We're doing an inchworm today. I've got the handy dandy gym boss here set for intervals of 20 seconds. What we're gonna do is one exercise and then we're gonna rest. And then we're gonna inchworm our way through the rest of the exercises that I have on my whiteboard here, which is a good, uh, not quite a dozen, like a handful, two handfuls, something like that. We're gonna go ahead and get started with kick jacks. Let's just, let's just get moving and see if my brain like kicks into gear. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> We're getting started with kick jacks. Your hands are doing jumpy jacks. Your lower body is doing kicks. I tell you what, today's helpful thought. Okay, here's the thing about helpful thoughts is that the only way to know whether or not it's helpful for you is how you feel. If you feel good, it's a helpful thought. If you feel anything other than good, it's not a helpful thought. So, okay, initially my whole I'm good at math <laughs> Not a great thought for me. Okay, we're resting for 20 seconds. And then here's what's coming up next. We're gonna do those kick jacks, but we're gonna add a second exercise. We're never doing more than two exercises in a row, and that's how we're gonna inchworm our way through this workout. So we're doing those kick jacks again, and then we're adding on V reaches, which is where we're making the big letter V in the air by doing like a little squat in the middle. So let's go ahead and do kick jacks first. And then when it beeps, we're doing those V reaches. The thing about the thing about doing math, I'm not great at math. I am good at math though. And this is something that I, I think over the years, if you have been with me for any length of time, you have probably heard me kind of make fun of my math skills. The fact is, here we go with V reaches. So we're reaching up to one side, squatting down in the middle and then reaching up to the other side. When it beeps again, we do get 20 seconds of rest. The truth of the matter is that I am just not very good at counting while carrying on a conversation. Long, long, long time ago when I very first started on YouTube, which by the way has been almost 10 years, let's go ahead and get 20 seconds of rest. So when it beeps again, we're doing those V reaches again and we're adding on a front kick clappers. I have to say that so slow because it's a, it's a long involved phrase there. So the V reaches plus the front kick clappers, which is exactly what it sounds like. We're doing a front kick. So here we go with V reaches. We're doing a front kick while clapping. We're gonna have our hands at like shoulder height. But the thing was, I didn't used to use the handy dandy gym boss. Or I did like sometimes, but I used to be like, Okay, when I first became a personal trainer, I was definitely much more of like a gym trainer. Like we do reps, we do sets, we're always counting. So front kick, clappers. So I was always trying to like count what we were doing and, okay, not right away because like very early on, I didn't talk at all. <laughs> like you go back to really, really, really old videos, I barely talked at all. And even then I couldn't really count very well. <laughs> But then 
after a while, my natural, here we go with 20 seconds of rest, my very natural, like who I am, because I talk a lot in real life and on camera, came to light. And then I started to like trying to carry on a conversation and try to count. It worked out very poorly for me. I don't count and talk at the same time. When it beeps again, we're doing those front kick clappers again, in fact, right now. And then we're going to add on pretzel jacks. That's the one where our lower body is doing a tree pose. I think I have definitively decided to just call them pretzel jacks. I like pretzels. I like calling it a pretzel jack, even though I always explain it by telling you it's a tree pose. <laughs> I could call, call them tree, po tree pose jacks, but well, you know what? But you know what? <laughs> this is how we do. <laughs> so you guys, so for years and years, I kind of made fun of like my math, my math ability thing. The fact is I'm quite good at math. I'm good enough at math. And this is a very helpful thought for me, really specifically in the realm, here's 20 seconds of rest, really specifically in the realm of weight loss. Here's the thing about losing weight. You do not need to calculate both calories in and calories out. When it beeps again, we're doing those pretzel jacks again and we're adding on the big arm side shuffles. We are inchworming our way through this workout too, guys. The tree, pretzel, pretzel tree jacks. Oh, maybe that's what I should call them. Okay, I might call them pretzel tree jacks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to scoot ever so slightly to the side here so that we can do the big arm side shuffles when it beeps. Big arm side shuffles, we're shuffling to the side while making a nice big round circle in front of us with our arms shuffling and making nice big arms. The thing about math, the thing about me even telling you that this is a workout where we are torching calories, my friend, you are burning calories every single second that you are alive, literally every single minute of every single day since the day you were born until the day you die, here's 20 seconds of rest, you are burning calories. You burn calories at a slightly elevated rate when you are moving and doing stuff. But the thing about calories is it's not necessarily doing what you think. By the way, when it beeps again, we're doing those big arm side shuffles again and we're pairing them with day breaks. That's the one where we're just doing like Robert Palmer's <laughs> with our feet. Here we go <laughs> with big arm side shuffles. We're doing Robert Palmer's with our feet and we've got our hands going up overhead, kind of like a rainbow, except that I don't call it rainbows. I call them day breaks because it reminds me of singing a song Daybreak by Barry Manilow in my Aunt Marie's car. And I have to tell you, I don't have to tell you, but I'm going to just yesterday I was out and about and I was behind this car. So here we go with day breaks. I was behind this little tiny car and there were at least four kids in this car and the whole car, oh, their hands were swaying exactly like this. And I couldn't hear the song, you know, of course, but I could hear that they were listening to music really loud. <laughs> All the kids in the car were doing this and I was like, it's Barry Manilow. Here's 20 seconds of rest. I, I, it made me so happy. I was so happy. Okay. You guys, when it beeps again, we're doing those day breaks and we're pairing them with the reach across high and reach across low, which is exactly what it sounds like. We're just reaching across high and then low. Nice and simple because, because here's the thing, math can be simple. <laughs> we go with day breaks and so can weight loss. The thing about weight loss is that there are certain things that you absolutely control and there are certain things that your body is just, it's gonna do what your body is gonna do. And your body is making so many more decisions than you are. Here we go with reach across high and reach across low. We think about our body doing, you know, really obvious things like, okay, you know, I'm blinking, my heart is beating, you know, my lungs are breathing, I'm digesting food, I'm watching TV, you know, we think about like the really obvious things. Your body, here's 20 seconds of rest, your body is doing billions of things every single second of every single day. When it beeps again, we're doing that reach across high, reach across, or reach across high and low, and we're pairing it with butter churns, which you might also think of as like dynamites or wily e. coyotes or something. Hands are going up and down right in front of you while one leg kicks out to the side. Here we go with reach across high and low. The thing about your body is it is making so many choices. Like, like you don't even know, I don't even know, I can't even explain it to you because it's well beyond what I understand. It's beyond what current science understands, frankly. So when we think, oh, I'm burning calories, here we go with butter churns, which is kind of like pushing down on a stick of dynamite and being really excited about it. 
or a hoedown. This exercise has so many colloquial names. You could call anything you want, my friend. You can always make this workout work for you. In fact, by calling it funny names or not funny names, maybe you have a real name for that one. Here's 20 seconds of rest. The thing about your body is it's always making choices. Yes, it is always using energy, so it is always burning calories. Here we go again, by the way, when it beeps again. We're doing those butter churns and we're pairing it with bug slappers. That's why we start in the letter T and then we reach down while we're stepping out. I'm gonna have to think about that one. <laughs> I'm gonna mentally prepare myself. I'm good at math, but I'm not always good at coordination. <laughs> And if I have a little mnemonic device, like we start in the letter T and then we step out and reach across your body to slap a bug off of your knee or your shin or your ankle if you can get down that low, totally depends on what you would like to do. So letter T, step out and slap and step out and slap. Excellent, excellent job when it beeps again. When it beeps again, you guys, you've seen all the exercises. This is our first time through this inchworm. So when it beeps again, we're gonna get 20 seconds of rest just like we've been doing. And then we're gonna inchworm our way through this list of exercises one more time. Ah, okay, okay, even with all this rest, do you notice heart rate comes up torching calories, which may or may not be burning fat. Here's the thing about your body making billions of decisions every single minute of every single day. It has a couple of different places that it can pull from in, to, in order to get energy. And it's not always, here we go with those bug slappers and we're pairing it with kick jacks. It's not always automatically or even for reasons that you would like it to. It's not always gonna tap into your fat stores. And truly, here's the thing that I think about. When you are in a caloric deficit, 24 hours a day, for weeks at a time, here we go with kick jacks, your body will, at some point in time during that 24 hours, reach the point where it does not have enough energy from the food that you have eaten, and it will have to tap into some other stored energy. Where it gets it from, could be from your blood sugar, could be from your glycogen stores, here's 20 seconds of rest, could be from fat. Your body's always making decisions based on what your body wants to do. But over time, let's say that you're in a caloric deficit for four whole weeks at a time. At some point in time, probably when you're asleep, your body's gonna have to burn fat. When it be again, we're doing those kick jacks plus the V reaches. So here we go with the kick jacks. Excellent job. You asking your body, demanding of your body, telling your body, wanting your body to burn fat just because you're doing exercise. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. The fact is you are burning calories. You are also burning calories when you are watching TV. You are also burning calories. Here we go with V reaches up to one side, down in the middle, up to the other. You are also burning calories when you're brushing your teeth, when you are watching TV. I think I already said that one. When you are doing anything. If you are alive, you are torching calories. And my friend, your body is gonna do with that information what it's going to do with that information. Here's 20 seconds of rest. The thing that you are in control of, the reason I would love this to be a helpful thought for you, and I hope it feels really, really good for you, I'm good at math, is because the math of weight loss comes from adding up your calories in. When it beeps again, by the way, we're doing those V reaches paired with the front. Here we go with V reaches <laughs> paired with front kick clappers. I need to come up with a, a, the thing is it describes the exercise perfectly, but it's so hard to say that I should probably call it something ridiculous <laughs> just so that I can say it faster. <laughs> so here are the front kick clappers. Awesome job. When it beeps again, we get 20 seconds of rest. The math part of it is you adding up your calories. You are in charge of that, like a hundred percent. You are in charge of the calories that you take in. You are also, hey, let's do some math on how many hours of sleep you would like to get. Here's 20 seconds of rest. And what time that means that you need to go to bed in order to get up at the time that you get up in order to, I'm gonna assume, go to work or take care of grandkids or whatever it is that you do. When it beeps again, we're doing those front kick clappers paired with pretzel tree jacks. I think I've made a decision. <laughs> because that way I never have to explain myself. No, I'll still have to explain myself. <laughs> but I, will, I think it makes it a little bit easier to understand what I call them pretzel tree jacks, except that pretzels don't grow on trees. The math you will do is how much water you need to drink and add it up every time you have a cup of water or a bottle of water or whatever it is that you have. Here we go with pretzel tree jacks. <laughs> 
The math that you will do is watching the numbers go both up and down on their way down over time. The math of losing weight is not getting caught up in the stories that we tell ourselves. Let's go ahead and take 20 seconds of rest. The thing about weight loss is that it really is math. We add up the calories and we let our body do what we're gonna do. We go to bed at the same time, we get up at the same time, we let our body do what it's gonna do. We drink the right amount of water, we let our body do what it's gonna do. We don't get caught up in all of the numbers. When it beeps again, we're doing those pretzel tree jacks and we're pairing them with big arm side shuffles. I'm gonna scoot over to the side a little bit so I've got some room here. Your brain will very naturally tell you stories about those numbers. This is why this thought, I'm good at math, can be really helpful for you. Knowing that weight loss really is math, here we go with big arm side shuffles, over time, when you are eating the right number of calories, that slight caloric deficit, taking care of the things you can take care of, your water, your sleep, your exercise, your mind management, your body will lose weight, it absolutely will. Whether or not you start off with the exact right amount of calories that's perfect for your body, or you start off with the right amount of sleep, here's 20 seconds of rest. There might be tweaks to be made here, but it really does come down to the math of sticking with it, watching the numbers, collecting the data, and not letting your brain tell you a story. When it beats again, we're doing big arm side shuffles paired with day breaks. Catch your breath. Ah, and here we go. <laughs> big arm side shuffles. I do love inchworming my way through a workout because it feels at the very beginning, you know how at the very beginning you're like, oh, 20 seconds of work and then 20 seconds of rest? Kind of Kind of not too much going on there, Paul. I don't feel like I'm torching calories. <laughs> but truly, I want you to think about this. Like when you're brushing your teeth or when you are watching TV, here we go with day breaks. Da, da, da. That wasn't even close to the melody. <laughs> But I love that song, Daybreaks from Very Mental. It brings back just the most ridiculous, happy memories from my childhood. I look back now as an adult and I'm like, wow, that was like dangerous and maybe not in all of our best interests. But as a child, it was so fun. Here's 20 seconds of rest. When it beeps again, we're doing those daybreaks again and we're pairing them with the reach across high and reach across low. The thing about your your body losing weight, my friend. First of all, I do hope that it has lots of fun memories for you, <laughs> kind of like day breaks, where you know what you just you make things fun because why not? And you also don't make things mean things that they don't have to mean. When it beeps again, we're doing that reach across high and that reach across low, which is really not reach across high and reach across low. It's the reach across high and low. <laughs> I'm gonna change the name of all of the exercises today. So we're reaching across high and reaching across low. And when you tell yourself and believe it and feel good about it, that I'm good at math, rather than getting caught up in the story of, oh my gosh, I'm not losing weight. This is really hard. I don't know. All those thoughts. Now here's the thing. You are welcome to think unhelpful thoughts. In fact, I mean, you're going to, whether you want to or not, you're totally going to. Here's 20 seconds of rest. You're not trying to shove those out of your mind. You're acknowledging them, but you're also understanding that those thoughts aren't going to get you where you want to go. If you feel bad, they're not going to be taking you to your goal. When it beeps again, we're doing that reach across high and low and pairing it with butter churns. You do not have to force helpful thoughts into your brain. In fact, please don't. But, well, okay, let me rephrase that. Here's the thing about helpful thoughts. They're only helpful if they feel good. So if they actually feel good, yes, absolutely. Tell yourself helpful thoughts, that would be lovely. But if you are thinking, oh, this sounds good, here's butter churns, this sounds good, I'm definitely losing weight, and you're like gritting your teeth and white knuckling it, and you actually feel a lot of pressure and not very good at all, that's not a helpful thought. So no, don't force that one in your brain. <laughs> my friend, the helpful thoughts feel good. I'm gonna keep saying that. Here's 20 seconds of rest. Helpful thoughts feel, feel, like in your body, feelings, emotions, feel good. You'll feel happy, you'll feel excited, you'll feel motivated, you'll feel amazing. Those are the thoughts, yeah, absolutely. Tell yourself those when it beeps again. We're doing better turns again, paired with bug slappers. And we're almost, almost done with these. <laughs> 
Here's our, here's our last pair of exercises. And then after this, we're going to do those bug slappers by themselves. But when it beeps again, we are doing those bug slappers right now. We're going to start in the letter T with our hands out to the side, reaching down across your body as you step out and slapping, but not really slapping, <laughs> reaching towards one part of your leg, whatever part you can reach towards. I think when I first made up this exercise, I was like, oh yeah, touch your ankle. <laughs> and I kind of, I touched my knee or like the inside of my thigh. <laughs> Like, like, I'm not really trying to get down all that low anymore, y'all. When it beeps again, we get 20 seconds of rest, and then we're going to finish up our inchworm whew, of this workout by doing those bug slappers one more time. And we're actually not going to finish up. We're going to done up. Because you know, you know how this goes. After we're done with bug slappers, we are done, and we are going to take one interval of rest before we move on to our finisher. Because, of course, I've got a finisher for us. We're doing the bug slappers one more time. Now, there it is. <laughs> Now, <laughs> and then we're going to take one more interval of rest because I tell you what, my heart rate got nice and moderate today. And I would actually, I would really love because, I mean, we started off, we started off a little rough around the edges. I'm feeling better now. The endorphins are already kicking in, but I would really like to have a good balance day. And by taking this 20 seconds to kind of bring my heart rate down, you can grab a chair, you can grab a wall, you can stand next to whatever you'd like to. I hope that this will help me have a good balance day. We're going to do front kick, back kick, one interval on each foot. So I'm going to stand on my left leg first. It's very simple. You're literally going to kick to the front and kick to the back. You're going to have your core pulled in nice and tight. You're going to be thinking about excellent form. You're going to be thinking about excellent balance. It might help you to like kind of stare at something and really think about unclenching your toes, unlocking your knee, engaging the front of your thigh, engaging your abdominal muscles, engaging your glutes, bringing that work all the way up to the middle of your body. And then here we go on the other side is the way to get stronger. The fact is you have lots and lots and lots of muscles in your feet and they are plenty strong already. Your feet don't actually need to get stronger. <laughs> your, your abs, your glutes, your core would love to get stronger. The stronger your core is, the better your balance is. Ah, the better, the better everything is truly. You guys, let's go ahead and turn that off and let's cool it down. What a great, great, great job you did today. You're really good at math. You're also really good at cardio. <laughs> You're really good at losing weight. My friend, my friend, weight loss is math. I promise it really, really is. When you can detach yourself from the stories that you tell yourself and really think about the math, think about the data, think about gathering information so that you can make good decisions to get to where you wanna go. It's kind of like running a business, I've decided which is funny because it took me a long time to figure out that I was good at running a business too. Let's go ahead and open this up. And my friend, close it up. Give yourself a hug and a pat on your nicely, moderately sweaty back. You guys, you guys, this is the first of this month's five day series. Every four weeks, I put out five new videos that we are going five pounds down. And this week is going to be so much fun because November is my favorite month. It's my birth month. We're actually celebrating my birthday this week and I'm very excited about this. Thank you so, so, so much for working out with me today. You are good at math and you're also probably very good at clicking that subscribe button <laughs> before you go. I'll see you tomorrow.